From the murky waters of the sportsman's paradise, stories emerge. Stories of the generations of people who have shared in the bounties of the land. Stories of communities that have persevered through natural disasters. Stories of the abundance of fish, wildlife, and adventures that create an ecosystem rich in diversity. And from the silted banks of the mighty Mississippi to the soggy marsh bottoms, from the tops of towering pine forests to the depths of the salty gulf, human and animal have shared this fortune for centuries. Enjoy these stories as told by outdoor journalists who travel across our state documenting the adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage that make us Bayou Wild. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Bayou Wild. We're at Morton Seafood Restaurant and Bar on the banks of the Jefuncta River, where we got some changes coming up, not just here, but all over the state. You know, it's fall, everyone's favorite time of year, I think. It's, it's pretty short-lived in the South, so we really embrace it. We have football, we have feathers, we have fish, and we have family. And so we're going to take a look at all those. You know, obviously it helps for the person that's going to be your future brother-in-law to have the same interest in his family. So we've been dove hunting a good bit together, and do some deer hunting and fishing together so I think it'll help a lot. It's already been a brotherhood. He worked so hard on the farm doing, you know, managing the deer and ducks and doves and whatnot and yeah, he's, he's a pretty selfless person. A lot of the same interests, you know, they all like to hunt, all love their family, all very family oriented, good people. Don't forget food. Yes, food too. Last year we shot some pheasants at the island and we had a great time doing that but an even better time cooking it. Laney Wick, my friend that went out shooting with us, and of course Elsie, we harvested those pheasants and cooked some pheasant corn chowder. So we're gonna stir in the pheasants first. And you said it's good to keep different size pieces in there? Yeah, I like to have different pieces just for texture um, and, and everybody, you can do it however which way you like. And then we're gonna add three cups of heavy cream. So I've got two cups here. And then we take you out to a night in the swamp with entertainer Amanda Shaw, who is truly an ambassador for the state of Louisiana. She's well known as a promoter of the culture and especially the music here in Louisiana. How'd you do it? It's like kissing your boyfriend. There you go. <laughs> And I think the most special thing about Louisiana is being able to tell people it's your wildest dreams and so much more. Uh-huh. Up close and personal. You wanna come in the boat? Wanna take a tour? Closed captioning made possible by CTO.com. Become a member. Bayou Wild TV viewer, check out the Bayou Wild TV collection shirts. Both regular tee and long sleeve dry fit are a perfect fit for any outdoorsman or woman who lives and plays in Bayou Country. And they make perfect gifts. Go to BayouWildTV.com. If you're lucky enough to bag a deer or a hog this season, bring it here to Double D. Double D processes hogs and exotic game and guarantees your product is always the meat you brought to Double D. Double D meets in Bogalusa, home of country smoked, spicy jalapeno cheddar, and other customized flavors. Bring your deer or your hog here to Double D where you always get your meat back in return. It's worth a drive to Bogalusa from anywhere. Double D. Add the taste of Louisiana to your next meal. 
if you like creamy, bold, tangy, or spicy. Bring home the taste of Louisiana with sauces from Louisiana fish fry products. Growing up here in Louisiana, there's so much great culture and there's so much great music and I really just wanted to be a part of it. I love the stories. They're simple stories about really great people here in Louisiana. And there's not many places that spark this interest and this joy in people the way that Louisiana does. And there's so many different versions of Louisiana that you could come here and discover and you can have a different adventure every time. What we wanted to do by taking Amanda Shaw out into the swamp was kind of showcase how much of an ambassador she is to the state of Louisiana. When you think of Amanda Shaw, you think of all the great things that Louisiana has as far as its food, the culture, the outdoors, and especially the music. And I think the most special thing about Louisiana is being able to tell people it's your wildest dreams and so much more. Cajun Encounters is another ambassador of Louisiana. They have taken so many tourists really from all over the country and the world, and show them what Louisiana's out of doors is like. And of course, going at night, it's a whole different outlook. How'd you do it? Like it's like kissing your boyfriend. There you go. That <laughs> it was kind of refreshing to actually see somebody get so excited about something they've grown up with and known about all their life, but to really experience it firsthand in a very different perspective. Uh huh. Up close and personal. You want to come in the boat? Want to take a tour? Would you a quick way to estimate the length of the alligator? It's every inch from his eyes to the tip of his snout is a foot. So if he's got five inches from his eyes to the tip of his snout, it's a five-foot alligator. It's a fat alligator. <laughs> 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 Well, as you know, um, the wetlands have been a big part of my career. When I was um, in high school, I was a part of the Hurricane on the Bayou film, um, which is about preservation of Louisiana's wetlands. And I live here, I grew up here. Uh, I hadn't learned the importance of Louisiana's wetland. So it became a big passion of mine and started the Amanda Shaw Foundation uh, one year ago. And um, it was all to honor my 20th year in the music business. I thought, what's the best way to celebrate my 20th year as a professional musician and um, I thought let's start a foundation the Amanda Shaw Foundation and I launched the Orchestrating Dreams Fund which is a scholarship program for young people to be able to achieve their goals and not just musicians it's musicians artists you know young chefs any young junior high high school student that is passionate about what they're doing they can apply for these scholarship funds I've been really fortunate in my life to have the support of great people in my life but um, not everybody gets that, and so I just thought that a foundation might would be helpful in some sort of way to, to people that also are passionate. Let's see if I can get it. Whoa. Oh, man. Look at that one. He's really, he's really Big old spider. Well, Look at that. <laughs> You know, everybody always asks me about what, you know, my whole career, I feel like I've answered this question, you know, where do you see yourself in a year, five years, ten years? And I always tell people that I'm, I'm just so lucky that I'm on this ride, you know, I'm, I'm a girl who had this dream of playing violin, and here I am, 20 years, 20 plus years later, still doing it, still playing shows, still making records, and... Um, I just hope to be able to continue to do that every day, not just, you know, a year, 10 years or whatever, but tomorrow. I hope that I'm able to wake up and still enjoy life the way that I'm enjoying it today. 
I love Louisiana and um, I love giving back to my community and anything I can do to help my community. This is Don Dubuque asking you to join me as a member of the Coastal Conservation Association. For 30 years, CCA has worked in Louisiana to conserve our incredible fisheries, making sure that our fishing is great today and for generations to come. Whether looking out for redfish and specks, eliminating gill nets, building reefs across the coast, or work at the state capitol and in D.C., CCA is doing what's best for the fish and the sport we love so much. Your $30 membership will ensure that this work and our great fishing endures well into the future. Go to CCALouisiana.com and join CCA today. Some things in life smell delicious. Others, not so much. Like a gas leak. Propane, for instance, is naturally odorless. That's why we add strong odorants to alert you if there is a leak. So if you ever smell gas, turn your system off at the tank and call your propane dealer immediately. Propane is a safe and exceptional fuel, and we want to keep it that way. Hi, I'm Donnie Rouse. There are a lot of different reasons to shop at Rouse's. It's the people. Everybody that works here is just so nice. Our stores get deliveries seven days a week. They have such a wide variety at Rouse's. Everything's in stock. I mean, everything. We use Rouse family recipes and ingredients found right here in the store. It's the food. Rouse's food tastes like homemade. And they're local. Like us. We also have great prices. That's the difference Rouse's makes. Hello, my friends. This is Louisiana native Zachary Richard. I cherish the outdoor experiences that make our state so special. And for the first time in over 60 years, hooping cranes are back in Louisiana. Wildlife and fisheries need your help as these beautiful birds resettle in our state. If you spot a hooping crane, observe it from a distance. And if you witness anyone harming one of these very special birds, call the number on the screen. This message is underwritten by Chevron. Meet our Bayou Wild crew and support our Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Foundation at its Wild Night Fundraising Banquet Thursday, October 10th, Live Oak Arabians in Baton Rouge. For tickets, visit LAWFF.org. An old farmhouse sits among a quiet countryside. Once tattered and torn, it now stands bold and bright, representing the past, the present, and the future. This old house holds the story of Southern traditions. On a cool fall afternoon, the union of a man and a woman brings together family ties with roots running deep in the outdoors. Yeah, her family said to me from day one, uh, they always show me respect and, uh, and they're pretty just normal people. Uh, love to hunt, love the outdoors, love the country. Um, so that, they're, they're very easy to get along with. When, when two people get married, obviously um, their families are going to be adjoined. Families are going to have to get along, have to do a lot together. And they let me watch football and they don't give me a hard time. They kind of leave me alone with that, but, but they're, they're a pretty southern family and, uh, and Lauren loves outdoors. Lauren, I mean, she'd much rather be outside than anything else, so that's pretty, pretty special. It's the definition of a southern gentleman and his passion for family, fishing, faith, football, and feathers. His time in the outdoors creates a brotherhood, a bond like no other. It's more than a successful day on the water or a bountiful hunt. It's sharing time and experiences together with nature in its purest form. Our family was excited because we liked to hunt and fish and we knew Matt and uh, Rob and obviously his family in Louisiana liked redfish and we knew we were going to go down there and have a good time fishing and 
we all connected pretty well with each other and had a good time. Heck yeah, boys. There are times when these experiences are about the thrill of competition. Some day I got brain rice, man. Sometimes it's a peaceful tranquility that's sought. You know, obviously it helps for the person that's going to be your future brother-in-law to have the same interest in his family. So we've been dove hunting a good bit together and doing some deer hunting and fishing together. So I think it'll help a lot. It's already been a brotherhood. He worked so hard on the farm doing, you know, managing the deer and ducks and doves and whatnot. And yeah, he's, he's a pretty selfless person. A lot of the same interests, you know, they all like to hunt, all love their family, all very family oriented, good people. You know, I've been fortunate to have a, you know, very good, or I'm married into a very good family. Um, they're very receptive to me. Um, I like being around them. We do a lot of things together, um, watching games, hunting, vacationing, um, good times. And even through victory and defeat, there's always room for a celebration. And preserving centuries old traditions of family, fishing, faith, football, and feathers. I've been using Louisiana fish fry products so much, even the kids are getting into it. Find me out bag, pour and boil, a great crawfish every time. And whether you're boiling crawfish, shrimp, or crabs, Louisiana fish fry products use the perfect blend of garlic, onion, spices, and salt for your seafood boil. So look for the bright yellow bag and pour and boil with Louisiana fish fry products. This is Don Dubuque asking you to join me as a member of the Coastal Conservation Association. For 30 years, CCA has worked in Louisiana to conserve our incredible fisheries, making sure that our fishing is great today and for generations to come. Whether looking out for redfish and specks, eliminating gill nets, building reefs across the coast, or work at the state capitol and in D.C., CCA is doing what's best for the fish and the sport we love so much. Your $30 membership will ensure that this work and our great fishing endures well into the future. Go to CCALouisiana.com and join CCA today. Some things in life smell delicious. Others, not so much. Like a gas leak. Propane, for instance, is naturally odorless. That's why we add strong odorants to alert you if there is a leak. So if you ever smell gas, turn your system off at the tank and call your propane dealer immediately. Propane is a safe and exceptional fuel, and we want to keep it that way. The Louisiana Wildfowl Festival is October 5th and 6th at the Casting Center at Pelican Park in Mandeville. Over 2,000 hand-carved and collected decoys and other stunning wildlife by world champion carvers. Compare your favorites with judges who award over $45,000 in prizes. Buy outstanding wildlife and wildfowl art at Sunday's auction. See live decoy carving and painting at the Louisiana Wildfowl Festival Saturday, October 5th and 6th at the Casting Center in Mandeville's Pelican Park. Visit lwccg.com. Welcome back. We're here in the kitchen with my good friend Lainey Wick. Bird hunting season's over, but we've had some great fun this year, and we've got some pheasants, and we're kind of taking a recipe that you found and making it your own. What are we making today? We're going to make a pheasant and corn chowder with bacon. Uh, Everything's better with bacon. Yeah. I found a recipe online that was for a, a chicken and corn chowder with bacon, um, and I've just taken out the chicken and replaced it with two pheasants and then added a few more other things that it didn't call for, and it's been pretty good every time I've made it. All right, so where do we begin? We began with we made some broth, so we poached the two pheasants um, with about three quarts of water, 
some onions, uh, carrots, celery, bay leaves, thyme. Uh, I threw a little bit of spring onions in there just because I had them in my fridge, uh, just for a little extra flavor. Uh, I poached it for, for about 40 minutes. Uh, anytime you do it, you're gonna wanna poach it just until the juices run clear from the thigh, regardless of what type of bird you're gonna use. We're gonna debone the pheasant next. Lainey, you've been on our tower pheasant hunt, but you learned a pheasant hunt out west. When's the last time you did that and kinda who got you started out there? Um, so I lived in Washington State and I ended up getting Elsie, which is my dog, my German short hair pointer, and we would go once a week hunting out in Washington for training and then we started hunting over in Montana and Idaho. The last time I've been out there was uh, three years ago before I moved to New Orleans, so we haven't done that in quite a while. So here I've got about a half a pound of bacon that I diced earlier just to save some time. And I've got a tablespoon and a half of olive oil in here. So we're gonna add the bacon to the olive oil and then we're gonna simmer it for about five minutes or until the fat starts rendering off the bacon. After that, we're gonna add celery and onion. Um, it's five stalks of celery and two onions that I've diced, and we're gonna simmer that for about five minutes. And then after that, we're gonna add the main ingredients, the corn, the potatoes, and the thyme. We've had all our ingredients, they've been simmering, the potatoes have been getting soft, and we're ready for the final touches. Yeah, so we're gonna stir in the pheasant first. And you said it's good to keep different size pieces in there? Yeah, I like to have different pieces just for texture, um, and, and everybody, you can do it however which way you like. And then we're gonna add three cups of heavy cream, so I've got two cups here. There's lots of different kinds of chowder, but my favorite is the cream-based kind, hands down. New England style. I'm with you on that one. That's also my favorite. All right, and so we're just gonna stir that. Do you heat it up or you keep it at the same temperature? No, nope, we're gonna let it heat up for a little bit, and once everything's heated, we are ready to eat it. Can't wait. Hi, I'm Donnie Rouse. There are a lot of different reasons to shop at Rouse's. It's the people. Everybody that works here is just so nice. Our stores get deliveries seven days a week. They have such a wide variety at Rouse's. Everything's in stock. I mean, everything. We use Rouse family recipes and ingredients found right here in the store. It's the food. Rouse's food tastes like homemade. And they're local. Like us. We also have great prices. That's the difference Rouse's makes. If you're a proud Bayou Wild TV viewer, check out the Bayou Wild TV Collection shirts. Both regular tee and long sleeve dry fit are a perfect fit for any outdoorsman or woman who lives and plays in Bayou Country. And they make perfect gifts. Go to BayouWildTV.com. The Louisiana Wildfowl Festival is October 5th and 6th at the Casting Center at Pelican Park in Mandeville. Over 2,000 hand-carved and collected decoys and other stunning wildlife by world champion carvers. Compare your favorites with judges who award over $45,000 in prizes. Buy outstanding wildlife and wildfowl art at Sunday's auction. See live decoy carving and painting at the Louisiana Wildfowl Festival Saturday, October 5th and 6th at the Casting Center in Mandeville's Pelican Park. Visit lwccg.com. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because the flavor is so good. Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil has more garlic, onion, paprika, lemon, and not too much salt. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag and pour and boil for great crawfish every time. Welcome back. We've been cooking our pheasant corn chowder. And you mentioned earlier that if you have a lot of vegetables that you make go to a farmer's market to get, you got some of these cute carrots that you made, get some corn from the farmer's market, you can add this to that. Most of the vegetables that I did use in this, I did get from the farmer's yeah, market. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's see the final product. Give it a taste test. All right. Oh, yeah. It smells so good. Treja. It's a hearty dish, too. This is a, like a meal, not a side. I would definitely say it's a meal. Yeah. Very good one. All right, the true test. 
By the way, these birds were shot in our tower hunt if you caught that episode a few months ago. Good stuff. Pheasant corn chowder with Laney Wick. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. The Louisiana Wildfowl Festival is October 5th and 6th at the Casting Center at Pelican Park in Mandeville. Over 2,000 hand-carved and collected decoys and other stunning wildlife by world champion carvers. Compare your favorites with judges who award over $45,000 in prizes. Buy outstanding wildlife and wildfowl art at Sunday's auction. See live decoy carving and painting at the Louisiana Wildfowl Festival Saturday, October 5th and 6th at the Casting Center in Mandeville's Pelican Park. Visit lwccg.com. The iconic whooping crane is back in Louisiana. If you spot a whooping crane, remember, observe and admire it from a distance. And always report any harmful activity. You can always help the Louisiana whooping cranes thrive by donating to LAWFF.org. Thank you to Chevron and the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Foundation for their generous support. Meet our Bayou Wild crew and support our Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Foundation at its Wild Night Fundraising Banquet, Thursday, October 10th, Live Oak Arabians in Baton Rouge. For tickets, visit LAWFF.org. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Thanks for watching Bayou Wild. We love when you check us out here at Morton's. We're here just about every Monday. Check our website for details and our Facebook page. Also follow us on YouTube where you can catch all the episodes in full length. And don't forget, order your Bayou Wild collection. Got lots of great items for you if you go to our website.